Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. And one thing I love about the Hermitcraft server is how everything is connected. Like we've got this trail here that begins and continues up and around, and we've got stairs that lead down. And if you follow some of these trails though, like this bridge here actually connects via this path here, and this path here, and this path here to these areas. And we have this wonderful little like, you know, kind of country path down here and it's not very well lit at the moment which makes me a little bit wary of actually descending too low but you can take this path and follow it past these little buildings here and under this tunnel all the way up and around to Wells Knight's base over here and there is its logical conclusion at this dock now we're a submarine but not for long or like a ICBM fired from a submarine, a nuclear explosion waiting to happen of creativity and joy. Now, one thing that is not connected to this path system is my base. Now, you guys probably already know this if you've been watching for a while, but my base is just on the other side of these hills. And I've told Tango that I... or not Tango. Dang it, Tango's the one that's asleep, so I'm just like remembering that he exists. Thanks, Tango. I've told Will's not that I would not interfere with his actual base, like, because we're neighbors and neighbors don't do that. That's a bad thing for neighbors to do. But one thing I do want to do is connect to that road network. However, these are two difficult to reconcile things. Is that an actual, is that one of my horses? Did he escape? Or is that like one of those skeleton horses? Dang it. Well, let's try and jump on this guy. Okay. I'm pretty sure this horse is actually supposed to be... He probably jumped out of the uh, barn here after I was building my redstone stuff. He probably found one of the blocks that he could just jump over out on. Where was I? Oh, yeah. So, horses in the barn, appropriately. We want to go up here. Past there. No. Wrong. Okay. We want to be able to connect our home with that path. Now, as you saw from the flyover, dang it, you're gone. As you saw from the flyover, we've got these impassable mountains between my base and Wills's, which I think serve as a great buffer. We don't want to have, you know, problems because of bad fences. Good fences make good neighbors. And there's another one of those purple things there. So you see, though, how close the bases are. Like, here is one of Cub's beacons. Like, this is this is right next to his base. But this was the nearest available planes that I could really justify working on. So I figure what I actually need to do, let's go back up again and kind of look around. Whoa. Hopefully there's not a lot of creepers here. If we look at where this trail runs, it kind of turns right here at this little hut. Which I haven't actually visited. I hope it's not full of like monsters. Let's see, we got some tools hanging up. Got a little bed. Some very interesting artwork. Little interior garden here. Paper for people to write on. Little sink. So this is like a little cozy home. And I was thinking, what if we extended the uh, path further this way? Like, we ran it through here, maybe, because this would be dramatic. Have, have the path kind of continue through this valley for a little ways. And then actually circumvent, or circumscribe, or circumnavigate, or whatever, uh, Wells Knight's base. Now, in order to do that, we're going to have to go a pretty good ways out. Because his base starts right there, but it kind of runs all through these mountains. But let's go up. Up again. So from up here, you can see Wells Knight's base goes there. So if we have our trail continue this way, and maybe kind of run through this valley here, and then through this valley, we can actually kind of go around Wells' area. Well, no, that's going to be where his beacon is. So we'd have to run it all the way up and over here through this desolate step. Hmm. 
Desolate steps are not usually the best locations for hospitable trails, but maybe you can improve a desolate step a lot more than you can improve anything else. So let's see, if we go up and over here, then we are... Wait, where are we? Did I go way too far? Okay, I think I clearly overshot my base by a good distance. Or am now completely lost. Okay, so we're going to go back this way, because I think this is north, and we're going to determine where we actually are, because creating a path to our base is going to be dependent on initially establishing our base's location, which I thought I had done a pretty good job of, but clearly now I'm beginning to suspect that I had not indeed done that as well as I had hoped. Okay, so here's our base. We've got our portal there. Let's see, if we look at it realistically, maybe we should go ahead and actually grab that horse. Because we are not actually, like, the, the, the uh, flat mechanics here are just throwing us all off. Dang it. So, the only real land pass to our base is going to be through this. Or there, but like I, this one is where we've got our kind of thing set up, our horse racing track already, with our various speeded horses throughout. So then, if we created a bridge across here, or across here, I don't think we want to go that way. That's going to be too clearly directly into Wells's area. But let's descend this, and then resend on the other side. So. This valley, if we kind of blew a hole in that, maybe, would be viable. It's not going to be passable here. Let's go ahead and mark this somehow as a possible demolition area. But yeah, if we were to blow a hole in that, that seems viable. Yeah, because this is otherwise, we'd have to go all the way around here. So let's go ahead and take a quick chop at that pass, maybe. Is it horse traversable now? It seems like some of these are going to be too high. So it's a little tight, but we can actually navigate this with some work. Whoa. Okay, let's go ahead and mark this on this side as well. We got a pretty deep fall there. Whoa, sorry horse. But we can reascend here. Let's mark this pass as well. Hopefully I'll be able to find these again when I'm flying. And come around, whoa, what am I getting caught on? Reascend here, and where are we in relation to Wells' base now? Got some lava plains. So there is his beacon, which means we might be directly coming into his bay, which we don't want to do. We need to go around the bay. Yeah. So this is still too close, because there's his bridge. There, okay. So looking at this, though, if we came over that hill there and continued north instead of hooking east immediately, and we don't fall in that lava, because monsters love it when we fall into lava. It saves them a lot of trouble. And the sun's going down soon. So we're going to continue to here, at least and put some torches kind of here to kind of indicate we're going to continue this way. And then maybe we just need another bridge, like, across this plane. Probably should be making, like, more arrowy arrows instead of just putting down the torches, but I have a feeling that if we go this way here, 
This should be far enough. Let's see. Or is this the part where we learn, my goodness, we've gone too far. Okay, so there's this portal. So then we're getting into the area where we should be... Whoa, not going in there. Well, this is a hazardous region. But I think we can recover the path. I think we're pretty close to it now. Yeah, there's the cow. And here is our path. Okay, great. So let's run through here. We need light, light, light. Light, continue. Now we go through here. Well, through here. Okay, great. We avoid that pit. Now this path is just going to be very broadly at the edge of his view distance. So we're going to want to clear it with him before we actually build it. And we can move it behind that hill in particular if we need. But I think on the whole that this is going to be a winner. And let's try and get back home before dark. So we had to descend here. There are my torches from earlier. Sorry, horse. This guy does not take a lot of damage on falls. I don't know why that is. So torches to there. Lead us to here or so. Back to here. Getting very dark. Not thrilled about that. Up and over. Oh, getting back up that way is going to be a hard one. I'm going to go ahead and shovel this. Why can't I get up that? Okay, so back down here. Okay, now we're into trouble because it's getting actually legitimately dark. But I can see my stuff over there. So, okay, we got to come down here safely. Back up the other side not fall into the lava. Alright, well that, that seems like a pretty successful plot for a path. So it's just a question of getting it constructed and kind of figuring out maybe some milestones along the way. Like I like the little houses he has along the path that you can set up in in case you're ever in any trouble. Like if you're, uh, oh no it's late at night I can go in this house and then use the bed. Like, that, that, those little rest areas are really smart to have. Did I lose the horse in the hole? Okay, it'll be fine. So, anyway, let's go ahead and give this a quick flyover at night so we can see our torches and see our kind of progress. So, through the arch, over here. This is going to be a little bit of a, whoa, difficult part there. Then here is where we continue this way. Whoa, we are low on food. Better not get shot by a skeleton. This seems to be where we turn. We have a torch there that I'm not sure that I've planted. Then we eventually hit Little House. Somewhere near here. Well, there's a Little House. Okay, well, you know what? That's a uh, good progress for today. We'll go ahead and end the episode atop of this spire, although it's actually not very well lit up there. So I'm a little nervous about this actually now. Whoops. Well, anyway, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. <laughs>